Good morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time of day it may be for you. In this drawing video, we're going to get into uh, the clothing, how to draw the drapery and the fabric of the clothing in a very quick and simple manner using charcoal. One thing I want to point out, however, is that notice how in this shot, the drawing looks about decent, right? The hand is not that enormous. Now, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to have my camera to the left side of me. Now, notice how much larger the hand looks and how uh, kind of distorted the picture is. So let's just remember, this is what the drawing actually looks like without that much distortion. Now, I know it's not a perfect drawing, uh, but just take note of that, that it's going to look a little different once the camera is to my left and I start drawing. And so today, we're going to be uh, putting some information in for the drapery, so the uh, the clothing. So what we have is the same outlines that we mapped out before. Um, the only difference is there's a tone now here for the sweater and a tone here for the jeans. So we're just going to build onto this simple architecture. So we have a little shape here for the shadow coming out like this, going down. So again, we're going to be looking at the shadow shapes first. And there's a little fold going into here. Shadow shape coming down like that. And then this shadow goes all the way down here. And then there's a shadow on the jeans. Pretty much down there. Let's look for some other shadows so over here now. Straight lines and angles, just like we did with the portrait and the hands. All right, so let's take a look at this shape here that we didn't quite have established before. And over here, there's going to be a very distinct distinct little shadow shape on the bottom coming all the way up like this and it tapers in and picks up right again around the back of the arm let's go ahead and fill in these shadow shapes now Now the next thing we're going to do is add a little, or add another little tone here for the shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill in another little tone. And so now I'm going to stump in this tone. So I just want the shape for the sweater to have a little more charcoal. This is why I toned the shirt a little bit prior to filming. Because I knew that this would need quite a bit of charcoal. So as I'm toning it, again this is a very quick and simple way to draw um, clothing. As I'm toning, or sorry, as I'm stumping down, I'm applying less pressure as I move. So again, I'm going to do it again. A little less pressure here. Notice how it's creating a little half tone. So what you want is the value to get a little bit darker as you approach the shadow, just like with the portrait and just like with the hand. So this is, again, another very back and forth-ish kind of thing. So let's go ahead and just make this transition here a little bit darker yet again and so the value the value changes within the sweater uh, or the jeans aren't really that crucial to the development of the painting that we're going to create out of this remember uh, this is a transfer drawing so I'm trying to create a drawing that basically I can transfer onto a canvas or a panel for painting. 
But I do want to find some information in the lights to basically have a little more of an understanding of what I'm going to get into when it's time to paint. All right, so now the next thing I'm going to do is with uh, the chamois cloth, subtract some light shapes. for the, the folds here for the drapery, for the clothing. Just look at the abstract shape. Now drapery, or the clothing, the folds in the clothing can be edited to uh, match particular elements in your composition if you'd like but I'm not really concerned about that. I'm just looking at the patterns of light and dark on the sweater. This is also kind of like a trial run for when we get into painting. So again, I'm pretty much just going to be transferring the outlines and the boundaries between light and dark when it's time to paint. But I still want a little bit of a uh, a little bit of information for the clothing. Now, I said that you could edit the folds of the fabric of the clothing uh, for your composition. So kind of, I'm kind of actually doing that for this area here. Not sure how much I like this fold, so I'm going to take it out. Again, this is a very quick and simple way to get the clothing blocked in. So let's just fill in this dark shape here for the jeans. Some little folds here for the jeans. Now we're going to go over it again with the dark side of the stump. And try to get a smooth and even gradation of tone. Even a little bit of light showing here for the sweater. Not much. Putting in some more value there for the hair. Now you can see it should be starting to take a little bit of form now. With these few value changes, That shape actually goes up a little more than I was describing in the linear block in. Some more little folds there for the jeans. There's a little highlight here for the patella. A little highlight there for the knee. And then of course the jeans has jeans have some strands here little folds. So I don't quite know if I'm going to film the uh, the development of the chair. Now the chair is part of the composition. Remember we decided we would put the chair in during the, uh, the first stage of this transfer drawing. The chair though, the development of the chair I don't think is as essential. So again, the sweater is going to have a few little changes here in the folds. So remember my stump has a light side and a dark side. So this is the light side. 
use it to subtract a little bit here. A few little folds here and there for the sweater. And over here as well for the elbow. A few simple little folds. This shape for the hair actually comes out a little further. Let's put in a little plain change here for the uh, don't know what you call this, but I guess the neck line of this sweater. This also creates a little plain change. Let's use the uh, light side of the stump. Subtract a little bit of light there, but it took out too much. So the dark side of the stump, we'll use it to make this darker. And over here as well, this value shouldn't be as light as it is anymore. I'll push this in inwards a little bit. Now back again with the light side of the stump. I'm actually going to push that shape down just a little bit. Light side of the stump. I'm going to subtract a little more down here. Not too much, however. It's actually just even out the charcoal here a little bit. Put the hair back. With the dark side of the stump, Go ahead and add some more folds there. This actually curves in a little bit. There's a little shadow here that I didn't notice before. And I believe there's a shadow here being casted by the hair. Go ahead and just fill that in. I'm keeping my light and shadow shapes very distinct. And here's this darker accent here. Again, I'm going to add another little wash of charcoal here. Just to help create a smooth surface for the jeans. Got to make sure that that light is there for the knee. And it's pretty remarkable how fast you can create uh, the effect of clothing with charcoal. You can create really nice effects very quickly. It's very similar to working with oil paint. A little more light for this. Don't need too much. Then there's going to be quite a drop in value as we approach the shin. And this is of course where we will be cropping the composition. So the leg wouldn't be this wide, so I gotta cut that in.
and this leg is wrapping all the way over here and we're seeing a little glimpse of it just underneath of here. Let's go ahead and put in a half tone here for the arm. So just add a little bit of charcoal and then use the stump to push that in. Nice and simple little half tone. And we're going to subtract a little more light for the sweater. Very lightly now with the chamois cloth. And again, if you're new to these videos, if you want to know exactly what materials I'm using, you can always go ahead and scroll down to the description box below and it'll all be typed up for you. A little more light here. Very lightly with the chamois cloth. So this area would be receiving a little bit more light than this area, even though it's very hard to notice in the photograph, in the photo reference. A little more light there. So now what we're going to do uh, is just with a little piece of paper towel, I like to use Viva-like cloth. It, it says cloth-like, I think, paper towel. So this is another thing that's going to be extremely useful to uh, drawing clothing with charcoal in a very quick and easy fashion. So just taking it and lightly tapping on the surface. Now the trick here is that the paper towel is well seasoned. Makes you think about food, huh? So the paper towel is seasoned with charcoal, meaning I've used it so many times you can tell. Uh, it's pretty worn, it has charcoal already kind of embedded in it, so it's pretty well seasoned. So it, what that does is it allows you to make these very smooth marks. Notice how smooth this is starting to appear with just a few touches. See that? Very simple. Now uh, with the clothing I know that there are stripes um, in the the model's sweater but I don't really want to I don't really want to put the stripes in right now I don't think I will even do that in the in the uh, painting when we transfer this drawing, but who knows? Let's go ahead and look at the outside contour of the sweater now. It's kind of hard to tell because the rest of it's kind of going into shadow. So it's making a little shape here, so I'm going to keep using the paper towel to smoothen that out. And I'm going to switch back to the chamois cloth to subtract a little bit there. Also creates a nice little effect when you drag the chamois cloth. So there's a little plane change over here. Not quite that important, but we'll put that in. And I think that's going to be it for uh, this, this segment of the drawing. 
So remember, I'm uploading these videos every single day now, so you can see the development of these paintings as the process unfolds every single day. Remember, this is the transfer drawing. So the most important thing for me for this drawing is basically to get the shapes as accurate as I can possibly get them. Now, it can never be perfect, but just get the shapes as accurate as I can get them so that I can have a drawing that's ready for transfer. And for the chair, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to draw out the outlines for the chair and maybe a light and shadow shape uh, for the background. But I don't want to do too much for the chair. I think that the chair is just something kind of that I want to fade into the background. So I really hope that these videos help you out. I wish you the best in all of your artwork. I hope you all have a wonderful day or wonderful evening or night, whatever time it may be. And I'll see you tomorrow on the next video.